David, 2-0 uh, loss at home uh, this afternoon against Stockton Town in the FA Trophy. What's your summary of the match? Uh, huff and puff, nothing else. Oh, it really. Improvement on the last couple of games? It's we not more hard. Possession? It's not hard. <laughs> um, yeah, we tried a new formation. We had, um, obviously, Louis couldn't play because he was, they wouldn't let him play in this. Uh, ben had to pull out. A couple of lads were playing with a bit of illness and, and tight bodies. Obviously, we had the game on Thursday, tried to rest as many as possible. I asked for energy and we had it in maybe the first five minutes. Played some decent stuff out from the back. I had Ryan playing left centre half. He was trying his best for us. He was a bit makeshift, but we actually played some okay stuff. But when I say huff and puff, it gets up to a certain point and we don't take care of the ball. We don't we don't want it, you know. And then we spend the rest of the time trying to get it back. And then you don't keep it and then you, it's just a the repetition of trying to win it back. When are we going to learn to to look after a football and look after a nil-nil? A um, and then I said to the lads in there, we might as well stop playing when we go 1-0 down. As in, come off the pitch and give it to someone. Because the f only time, I think, Campion, we managed to do it. But I'm not sure how many times we've, we've done it where we've had to do it in a league game or of the same standard that they were today. Yeah, we were 2-0 down at half-time. Uh, two terrific strikes from Stephen Thompson, as we said. you think we could have done something about those strikes? Yeah, when, after his first one, would it not be... I don't know if, it, if anybody watching a, a game of football, it'd be ideal to close people down when they're going to shoot. We didn't do that. Even the first goal we got played around, so easy. Um, that's just desire. That's just desire. I ain't got them up on the wall yet, but my first three things, I think all over here and Colin and people in the thing say it every week, hard work, commitment and desire. Don't mention about your first touch or, or how you play a 60-yard ball. That's just total desire to not get beat. And it's, it's tripping through the, too much that it's... It's not there, and that's one thing I can't I can't do is give people that. So you're saying the players have to find that in themselves. Yeah, um, they find from somewhere in themselves. Yes, like I just told them to look in the mirror. Everyone can run, everyone can tackle, everyone can at least get about and and have that passion for it. If I haven't got that, it it's not even technical stuff it's run get the ball back pass it to someone like i know it sounds simple and when you're out there it, it's not but when people watch it back just watch the desire to close people down to, to run like running back i said well tuesday will come when you'll do recovery runs all night and i'll stand you in a shape stay in your positions we had people Playing in midfield, going out to the left. It comes down into the midfield and we've got one player up with three of theirs. It's, for me, it's simple things. And I'm not sure it is for them. So I'm going to have to literally go textbook, academy football, and what they teach them. So I, I might have to teach some people how, how to get the ball off the floor, first touch. We're going to have to do really, really simple things that kids understand. Because getting to a point where I, I've realised that I can't speak football to them because they don't understand. And again, I'm not the best coach in the world, but I can tell someone that can't understand. So if you change your formation and you put your centre back up, I think everybody in world football knows when a big lad goes up front, what is it time for? And And we don't. And it's like... That's the realisation that you say, right, I'm going to have to start literally simple, like really simple. Yeah, so you you did make some changes and uh, put half it forward. You, you mentioned there towards the end of the, the second half. But it's changed at half time, uh, Korean read on yeah. and rearranged the setup. We had Nicky Devonich jump very deep 
uh, on the left hand side. What was your thinking behind those? Well, Joe three? got injured, and then he was the only right. like left back, left full back, wing back. So Dev's put his hand up and said, oh, "I'll go in there because there's not many people that." He said, "Oh, I'm not not great there, but left footer and uh, managed to change a few things about and." People playing out position is not ideal, but I I was a goalkeeper and I could have played today and stayed in my position, run until my legs fell off and just have the, the desire. But when you put people in in a formation, you, you kind of think that they will understand. And this is what I was saying to Devs after, like, he was like, I could understand the formation. But other people couldn't and I was like well what's hard about a 3-4-3 and you put a, a lad up front because there's five minutes left and I've got my midfielder trying to get a short pass off the goalkeeper when we're trying to go along and it's it's them little things that all add up they're all the one percent that you and, and I think I'm like laughing because I'm thinking oh my god like is this a realization that it has to be simplified yeah, you talked uh, in our chat after last Saturday's game about possibility of bringing some new faces in yeah. and losing some other ones to yeah. make that to enable that to happen. Would there like to be any progress during the? Well, week, do you think there's right? been a bit of progress and conversations had with those people, whether that that happens. But again, if I lose people, I'm not just going to go and grab anybody. I, it has to be right for us, and if I'm not adding quality, I'm just adding bodies and then there's no point in changing the ones I'm changing so m my appeal to the fans is it's going to take time and it's going to be horrible and it really will be horrible and we're going to have to go simplify and it might be rule one football because that's all they understand and so we can we have the chance to get a bit of quality and, and really rearrange the squad. So you're built for quality in terms of uh, footballing but you can also the desire you mentioned so yeah the right people like if i know someone that might not have the quality on the ball but breaks it up in midfield runs around gets at people wins the ball back passes it understands their position that's that's just as good as having someone who can like pass the ball around beautifully like but can't do the other side you need different qualities and we've got too many Nicey, nicey players that maybe are up to this standard. David, thank you very much. Cheers.